my name is Matthew Helmke. I am currently a senior technical writer for Pearson Education. Um, I work on the technical documentation for testing assessment software. Um, I've been a technical writer for several years. I've also done a ton of other stuff. I'm a musician. Um, I've written books about a variety of topics, magazine articles, uh, little things here and there for fun. My most recent book for Pearson is called The Official Ubuntu Book, and it's intended for people who are interested in exploring different operating systems for their computer, but people who don't necessarily know anything about that yet. Um, you can be a complete beginner, just someone with an interest, or if you're a person who maybe knows a little bit about those sorts of things, but want to go the next step, maybe get beyond rank novice into the realm of intermediate user on the path perhaps to becoming an advanced user. Someone who wants to use their computer to the fullest potential but you're not interested in becoming a professional programmer or systems administrator. You just want to know how to do stuff and do it well. Um, not only well but do it efficiently. This book's for you. The most unique facet of this book is that it is officially sanctioned by Canonical. Canonical is the company that provides most of the support to the Ubuntu community, allowing all of the development and creation of this operating system to happen. Um, I had and still have direct access to many of the developers and community members working in the Ubuntu community to create this. And so we got information directly from the source that made it into the book to help make the book as uh, accurate and complete as possible. Some things that will be useful for you to know before you pick up a copy of this book. Um, first off, Ubuntu is a free operating system, not just in terms of cost, but it's free legally. It's licensed in a way where you can share it with your friends. You can copy the programming code, the software, and you can share it without legal constraint. Um, there used to be, back when I was younger, something called shareware. This takes that a step further and uh, gives you the chance to become part of a community without worrying about, oh, if I download this, am I breaking the law or am I violating someone's rights? Another interesting facet is that Ubuntu is more than just software. There's a wonderful community involved, and so if you have questions or you need assistance, you want help, this book describes a myriad of ways to find that assistance or to become involved and help out creating this operating system and all of the software that goes with it. Uh, in fact, it does so, the book does so, in a way that no other book does. It's a much more complete, holistic view of what this community is attempting to create. The book has a unique voice. Um, it is intended for people who are not computer scientists. This isn't a book for professional programmers. This isn't a book for professional um, systems administrators. Now, I'm not saying those sorts of people wouldn't find it interesting, but this is a book intended for normal, everyday people who are just looking to do something different with their computer. Perhaps you've used an operating system from a different company and you're kind of tired of how it works or maybe you felt locked in and you want to know how to do something new and different, complete all of your normal everyday tasks while at the same time doing so in a different method, not being uh, connected or stuck to uh, a company or a system you don't like. So in closing, let me just say thanks for listening. Um, I'm glad you're interested. I hope that you will find the official Ubuntu book useful to you and interesting. If not, I hope you'll find some of the other books that I've written and that Pearson provides interesting and useful to you. And uh, I'll see you around.